to the board members of Cricket Namibia, the people who five years ago, June 2018, got together under the leadership of Dr. Rudy van Vier and Pauline Ngongu, who have turned this organization around, to the board of Cricket Namibia, the, the people and the, and the leaders of this industry and this organization, and the people who have shared this vision where we are standing today. And then to all our partners, corporate community, um, we call them the cricket corporate community, those are our existing partners that form part of the entities that support cricket in this country to make sure that we can grow and develop programs that, that we want to roll out for all Namibians. I cannot name all of you, we're going to be here the entire morning, but thank you so much for your wonderful support to, to cricket in the last couple of years. And then also to the business community of Namibia, who are future sponsors and partners of Cricket Namibia. Welcome to all of you this morning. It's wonderful to share this event with you. This is a stadium by Namibians for Namibians, and we'll share a bit on how we, we're planning to develop it a bit later on. But uh, to everyone from the, from the corporate community you are, and the business community, you are, are wholeheartedly welcome here today. Then to all the media, we've got quite a number of media houses. To all of you, thank you so much for your support. You're always there when we have these type of events. Thank you for sharing these highlights to Namibia to make sure that the people of Namibia can see what's happening and uh, what sport is doing in this country. So thank you for you being here today. We highly appreciate that. On that note, I want to introduce um, our leader of the organization, Dr. Rudy van Vieren. He will then introduce the Honorable Minister. And uh, we've got a small little surprise for you, a second announcement that we didn't, uh, didn't prepare you for. And then we're going to share some information on the stadium, the background of it, share some lovely stories. There has been some stadium tour this morning already, where you've just like a walkabout regarding the facility. And there will also be one afterwards for the people who've missed the first one. So if I can call up without further ado, Dr. Rudy van Vieren. Thank you. Thank you, Johan. The CEO has observed our protocol, and uh, I think the minister will agree with me. We have learned from late President Geinkop that the keynote speaker, um, the guy talking before the keynote speaker, must not make the speech. <laughs> but I have a little speech to make. All protocol observed. One day, we will look back at our lives and recall our best memories. For some, it will happen in an instant. For others, there will be enough time. Those memories will usually start with, now that was a lacquer day. To be part of the groundbreaking of a national cricket stadium will not come for us again as a board. What you see here today is the physical manifestation of a vision collectively developed from 2018. Today is a lacquer day for me. Our vision is based on five key concepts, globally competitive, professional, values-based, inclusive choice of sport. This stadium was developed after our CEO and the architect of the project, Mr. Herman Miller, benchmarked the best stadiums in South Africa and India. We went to learn from the best just to come back and do it better in the Namibian way. This stadium will be globally competitive. In 2022, when our national team visited State House just before the T20 World Cup, late President Gainkop sat across Poli Nagongu and he said to him, ah, so you guys, you are going to the World Cup. Polly replied, no, Your Excellency, we are competing in the World Cup. And that is our mentality as a board. That is our tenacity and our grit. We always compete. This stadium has already won the best prize of the prize for the best sunset and, they be and the best bright places in the world, even before it's built. Professional, the team working on this project are some of the best professionals in the business. The quantity surveyor, Mr. Louis Berger, was himself a national player and more than anyone understands the requirements to have a professional setup. The details that were thought of in this project is mind-blowing. 
it will be professionally built and professionally run because we believe that only when we run cricket professionally as a business with the Namibian people as its main stakeholders will we be successful. Therefore, solid corporate governance resonated through the process of developing this stadium. Values based. Our culture in Cricket Namibia is based on our values of excellence, discipline, unity, communication, respect and transparency. To us, these values is a way of doing things. And like President Kainkop used to refer to the Namibian house, we often refer to the Cricket Namibia bus. With the right people in the right places on this bus, knowing where this bus is going, and if you don't buy into our culture, then sorry mate, leave our bus. Inclusive and choice of sport. We believe, we believe in inclusivity. We believe that we will get to a point where cricket becomes the sport of choice for all Namibians. This stadium will be more than just a structure of steel and concrete. It will be the beating heart of our Namibian cricket community. A place where dreams are born where players will showcase their talents and where memories are etched into the fabric of our collective identity. It will be a place where friendships are forged, where rivalries are born and where the spirit of competition ignites a passion of excellence in all who enter these gates. As we, as we break the ground today, let us break barriers. The barriers that limit our aspirations, the barriers that divide us, and the barriers that stand between us and our goals. Let this stadium stand as a testament to the boundless possibilities that lie ahead for us. And when we come together, we in a shared vision and a common purpose. I want to extend my deepest gratitude to the people who've contributed to this moment momentous undertaking. The architects, the construction crews, the honorable minister. We've come a long road to get here. The ED, Mr. Erastus Hatingela, Ms. Manuel, the Director of Sport, Mr. Freddie Mouya, the City of Wintuk especially, and the countless individuals whose unwavering dedication has brought us here. A special word of thank you to our CEO, Johan Miller, and his team, ably led by Ashley. Your dedication and your passion for this project keeps inspiring us all. To my fellow board members, the journey has been long, but our vision and our picture remains crystal clear. The first ball of the 2027 Cricket World Cup being bowled right here where I stand, in front of a packed stadium, while the voice over the public announcement says, Welcome to the Namibia Cricket Ground better known as the NCG. Let the games begin. Today is a lacquer day, and we are blessed to share it with you. Let us build a legacy together, a legacy of passion, perseverance, and the enduring spirit of sportsmanship that will define us as a community for years to come. I thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rudy van Vieren. The finality of that speech uh, should have led into introducing the Honorable Minister. Honorable Minister, if you can join us in front just for a couple of words, it will be wonderful and, and this function would not be as significant without your presence and without your words. Thank you for being here this morning. Director of Ceremonies, uh, here, is, here it's written Mr. but the thing is Dr. Rudy Van Furen. Uh, but also maybe also, yeah, it's okay. Both Mr. Dr. Rudy Van Furen, President of Cricket, Pauline Bongo, Vice President of Cricket. And before I go further, let me start with the uh, Deputy Major General, 
and a marina in there, in your team. If I don't go there, in all the uniform forces, if I don't go there, they will refuse to protect me when there's anything, when anything goes wrong. Esteemed board members of Cricket Namibia present here, cricketers, if any here, Javera, my boss here, all the people who make it possible, and those are sponsors and developers and those people who have better brains than us, who know better how to put up a stadium like this. All invited guests, and I think everybody here around who came here, they've got one or another some sort of interest in cricket, except media, because media, they have got uh, interest in everything. But uh, all others are having some sort of interest in cricket. That's why we are here. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished, distinguished delegates, esteemed members of the media, I didn't mean bad name. Please don't go and say something else. Good morning. I know people of the media. We always have got an issue. Today marks a momentous occasion as we gather here to break ground for the International Stadium of Cricket, the first of its kind in our country, Namibia. This stadium symbolizes our commitment to fostering the growth of cricket in our nation and also beyond. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to all the stakeholders who have contributed to making this dream a reality. To the architects, sponsors, investors, and the cricketing community, your unwavering support and dedication have been instrumental in reaching this milestone. Ladies and gentlemen, as we embark on this journey, I am filled with immense pride and excitement for what lies ahead. The International Stadium of Cricket will not only serve as a venue for thrilling matches, but also as a hub for nurturing talent, promoting sportsmanship, and fostering camaraderie among nations. Looking ahead, to the 2027 World Cup to be hosted right here in Namibia. I call upon our players to rise to the occasion. This stadium will not only represent bricks and mortar, it is a testament of our passion for cricket and our determination to excel on the world stage. To our cricketers, I say this. Let this stadium be a source of inspiration and motivation as you train tirelessly, hone your skills, and strive for greatness. The world will be watching, and I have no doubt that you will make us proud. Once again, allow me to say congratulations together let us celebrate this momentous occasion and look forward for a future filled with memorable cricketing moments, sponsorship, and unity. And I thank you. Thank you, Honorable Minister. Appreciate the wonderful message. We're going to share a lot of good memories on this stadium when uh, one day you can look back on a, on a very fruitful career and uh, an accomplishment of sport in, in this country. Thank you so much for, for that wonderful speech. We are going to do a second announcement that I didn't prepare anyone about. And while I do this, I want to ask our women's cricketers to come up to my left-hand side here. And I want to ask Marlies Horan from Capricorn to start moving to the front. As significant as the stadium, there is a, a second aspect that we are extremely proud of. And that is that uh, for this year, for the first time, we were able to also professionalize the women's game. Four years ago, five years ago, we signed contract with national men's players that uh, brought us to two World Cups, and this year the third World Cup. 
This year we're in a position to also now professionalize the women game where we have signed 10 women's contracts with, uh, with female ladies that will now have their job of working for the Cricket Namibia office and their job is to perform on the cricket field. This is a significant moment in sport in this country. It's the first ladies that get signed on contract where cricket is now their occupation. It is 10 ladies that can support their households through pursuing their passion. And we want to thank Capricorn and everyone that was involved in this. At least um, the mic is over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Johan. Um, Dr. Rudy, this is really a lacquer day for women in Namibia and the Capricorn Eagles. Thank you to the board and management of Cricket Namibia for this unbelievable, amazing gesture. I know the Capricorn Eagles will, will make Namibia proud. And uh, we, um, as Capricorn Group, would also like to congratulate you on your vision with this um, venture. And we know with everything that Cricket Namibia does, it turns into gold. My personal opinion is that cricket is the most professionally run sport in Namibia. So uh, we are very proud of our association with Cricket Namibia. So from our side, girls, congratulations. And uh, I know you will make us proud. Can we give them a lovely round of applause? Thank you, ladies. Congratulations. Right, I want to share some stories about the stadium. Just for, for the people who didn't know, we started breaking ground here in August 2020. Um, that was uh, when we got stopped very quickly by the city of Windhoek, saying that they've got plans to develop a craft market on this facility, and we, we are not supposed to have this land for us. And that started a three and a half year journey to secure this, this land. We are very proud today that three weeks ago, we finally signed the lease for, for this, uh, this section. But because we're hosting the 2026 World Cup in January already on this land and also on the, on, the, on the field on top there, we couldn't wait for the signing of the lease. So we already started with leveling processes. All our background checks was done. As Doc Rudy mentioned, we went to South Africa, India, also Dubai. And the idea started with Hackley Oval in New Zealand, where we have a stadium that is a, that is a unique fit to the culture of the people of that country. So we developed a field with grass embankments that you currently at this stage see that is, that is um, looking like soil, but that will become grass. Remember, this is still a construction site. Um, then we developed a stadium that is sustainable, that can maintain itself, and that can generate income for cricket in, and cricket programs in this country. Where you're standing now is, uh, is grass. Two months ago, we seeded for the first time um, exactly where you are now. Um, so in two months, we had significant growth. Maybe it's because of the 250 tons of compost we worked into this land. Um, behind me is eight new cricket pitches, um, bully that we self-produced and discovered in Grootfontein, tested internationally to be at the right standard. And that has now turned into eight new international wickets. The same with the facility on top there, received seven new seven new wickets. Um, all of them are fitted with proper drainage systems, state-of-the-art irrigation, and a flow that directs water from the middle of the field to the, to the side of, of the venue. On these booklets that you would have received, I just quickly want to run through it. The ones who didn't do the stadium tour, we will gladly walk with you afterwards. But to your right-hand side now, that corner, that will be our main building. So the main stadium will be on that side. Towards uh, my far left-hand side, that is where there's a commercial suite where four companies can own a, a section and a facility that they can utilize for private use, but also during game match days. On this corner, on this side, will be a second embankment suite or commercial suite. Then on the top there, we've got a full-on high-performance gym that will serve the training program of our national men and national women who will form this as their training base. And then next to it will be a change room facility and on the other side, a full on indoor cricket uh, facility for, for practicing. So this becomes an entire high performance cricket development, a sporting hub with a full time restaurant in the building that will commercialize and, and generate uh, income back for us. But it will also mean that there will consistent feed through this premises. There will be recreational activities run on a daily basis and quite a number of people will walk through this premises um, 
as I mentioned daily. And that is exactly where I, I just quickly want to stop and I want to recognize a few people. I'm got, I want to ask Ashley and our ground staff, gentlemen at the back there, if you can move to the front while, while I'm talking. And, and while I give that background, um, I mentioned 250 tons of compost that was worked into the this, this soil with hand. The, the pictures at my back, that's 200 tons of bully. And the same at the top there, it's 200 tons of bully that we imported from uh, Imported from Grootfontein, it almost feels like you import from Grootfontein. <laughs> but, uh, and also, also I must just mention the Imperial, um, who's now DP World, um, Imperial, I'm not sure if Henk is here this morning, they covered all the transport for, for that uh, 400 tons of bully, that is an astronomical cost. While the gentlemen walk up here, these are the guys who are responsible for moving a, a lot of soil, for planting grass, for, for building pitches. Through that, we're also building capacity of Namibians. Um, can we just give them a lovely round of applause for their wonderful work? It's now been four months that we started with a few casuals, um, and it consistently grew. But for four months, on a, on a daily, daily basis, also on weekends, these gentlemen are here. They pitch up every morning at 7, their first year. They leave just after 4.30 but they work throughout the entire day to make sure that we, we're creating facilities as we spoke about. Gentlemen, thank you so much. We highly appreciate it. Thank you for your wonderful work. Right, on screen you will start seeing, and that's the second purpose for today. Um, we're also giving the, the corporate community of Namibia the opportunity to be part of this wonderful facility. There's a few packages that we're introducing, but maybe just before I, I get there, I must introduce uh, to you Hermann Müller, our architect at, at the back there. Hermann raised his hand, uh, the gentleman at the far back. Um, Rufan, Rufan van Vieren mentioned Louis Berger, our QS to, to the right hand side here, Louis. And then Sylvia Moster from Knight Pissolt as our consultant and engineers on, on the project. Gentlemen, the number of meetings we've had and the number of meetings you've had between one another, just to make sure that we are ready to break um, to put the first uh, uh, excavator to the ground on the 8th of April. And I'm saying that with, uh, with a lot of expectation <laughs> on the 8th of April. But uh, thank you so much for your contribution and your wonderful support in this. Thank you for listening to our vision and to making it a reality. Thank you for that. We appreciate it. <clears throat> right, on this facility, we'll host the Under-19 World Cup in January 2026 which means that we are less than two years away from that first ball being bowled. We co-host with Zimbabwe. There will be 16 ICC Under-19 World Cup matches here. 2027 November, we are hosting three men's international World Cup matches on this facility here. Um, so the pressure is quite on us to, to make sure that we stick to our timelines, um, but everything is in place to, to start with that. On screen, you will see how you as, as corporate entities can get involved. Also in the booklet, you, you will see there. There's quite a lot of branding opportunities for you to be involved. The stadium partnership is one of them, where you can become a partner to the stadium through either um, partnering with material instead of a cash value. I want to mention quite a number of companies here who's already signed up on that. Skulk from Dulux, I've seen you this morning. Um, the entire building, the facility will be painted with your wonderful paint. Skulk at the, at the back there, it's wonderful to have you. Then plastic packaging, um, Nico couldn't be here today, but I think he sent a representative. Nico sponsored all the irrigation and all the drainage piping for the facility. That's already underground. It's something that you, that you cannot see. And then uh, we also have um, George Thomas Aluminium that will do all the aluminium. We've got um, hopefully mega, mega build after this morning, Pierre, for, for your company. We've met quite a number of times. It will be wonderful to partner with you. And it's wonderful to have partners and corporates involved in a facility like this. Um, there's also naming rights to the stadium that's available. There's also commercial packages on our commercial suites, the two suites on my left and right hand side, where corporates can buy that area. It becomes their area to utilize on a, on a, on a social basis, but also during match day. All these packages I'll, I'll share with you um, directly after. As you drove in, this entire area will be fenced off. There will be a lot of branding on those, on those fences. Also, the big side screens that you would have seen, the containers at the back of those side screens, is also quite a number of, of, building, of uh, branding opportunities for, for companies to get involved in. But more so, we want to involve, invite companies to be part of this. Um, we're not necessarily in a financial perspective, but 
to be part of the development of this, to feel part that this is a stadium and a field for, for all Namibians. And, and if we can have that vision and share that vision continuously, then we will move forward. We want to ask you to enjoy the morning with us. There's some wonderful snacks at the back. There's uh, some more drinks. Remember, it's non-alcoholic, so you can go to work after this. Thank you so much for coming out this morning. I want to compliment the Cricket Namibia staff, Natalia, John Collin, Harold, for all your wonderful work setting this up and uh, for all the work in the office that all our staff does. Enjoy the morning, enjoy this process, and enjoy what we are bringing to Namibia, and hopefully we will bear quite a lot of fruit from there. Thank you. Sorry, on that point, I forgot the most important thing, and that is to actually put the, put the spade in the, in the ground. I want to call up the, the Honourable Minister. <laughs> on, on, yeah, Honourable, you're so correct. If you can join us in front. Uh, can we also be joined by the entire Board of Cricket Namibia? This is a, do some symbolic gestures where you cut a ribbon and you put a spade in, in the soil and you move the soil as the first symbolic of uh, construction happening. Can we do that honors with the Honorable Minister and then the board to join in that um, symbolic gesture? Yeah.